Although you may currently feel comfortable in your lifestyle, it's important to recognize that certain habits could potentially lead you into a financial struggle. Our approaches to life can sometimes cause us to overlook the importance of saving for the future. Get ready, as we're about to share some valuable tips that have the potential to alter your approach to life and transform how you handle your financial matters. Welcome to Nova Society, paving the way for your financial success. If you're not subscribed yet, become a member of our community. Dave Ramsey has effectively guided countless people, even those in dire financial situations like being burdened with $150,000 in debt and earning a low income, to become millionaires. What's even more astonishing is that Dave Ramsey has assisted people of all ages, including those as old as 71 in retiring with minimal savings. Here are some valuable and easily applicable tips from Dave Ramsey to survive your average income and improve your quality of life. Use the Gas Buddy app. It's evident that gasoline is likely one of your most substantial expenses and it appears that fuel prices are perpetually on the rise. Trying to identify ways to reduce this cost when you have limited income can be a real headache. However, by simply installing this app for free, you can find assistance. Sort what this application does is provide information about which gas stations in your vicinity offer the most reasonable fuel prices. You'll be pleasantly surprised to discover that some locations even offer prices that are several cents lower than your usual expenses. While these savings might not appear that much individually, they do accumulate over time. Join a gas rewards program. Saving money on gasoline can be achieved through various methods, fortunately. Here's a valuable tip from Dave Ramsey. One of the top programs provides you with three points for each gallon of fuel and two points for every dollars you expend on gas. Once you accumulate 100 points, you receive a $1 discount on gasoline. If you drive an average car, you'll enjoy a $1 discount on your next refueling every time you fill up your gas tank. This fantastic program is available through ExxonMobil. Save automatically. Determining how to maintain a lifestyle below your financial capacity, especially on a modest income, can be quite challenging. So how can you effectively save money? The reality is that you won't achieve wealth unless you prioritize saving. The simplest approach is to transform your savings into an obligatory expense like a regular bill. The key is to ensure that you don't dip into these savings. After depositing your savings, regard the funds in your checking account as the total amount available for your monthly expenses. The specifics will vary depending on your circumstances. Get rid of automatic subscriptions. While automation can be incredibly helpful, it can also become a financial burden if not managed properly. Subscriptions are a prime example of this. Interestingly, Dave Ramsey isn't particularly fond of subscriptions. The first step is to eliminate any automated subscriptions you currently got once you've done this. It becomes simple to retain only the subscriptions you actively use. Renewing a subscription will require additional effort each time, and if there's one you don't use, you're unlikely to bother renewing it. Have a budget? According to Dave Ramsey, gaining control of your finances requires budgeting. While budgeting might appear intricate, it's quite straightforward. All you need to do is follow these basic steps. 1. Monitor your expenses. 2. Keep tabs on your income. 3. Ensure that you allocate every dollar you earn effectively. When you manage your money in this way, you'll notice an improvement in your financial well-being every day. Here's what Dave Ramsey has to say about the importance of having a budget. Number one, you need to have a written plan, a budget. Jesus said, don't build a tower without first counting the cost, lest you get halfway up and you're unable to finish, and all who see you begin to mock you and say, this man began to build. No one would began to build and was unable to finish. No one accidentally wins at anything. Raise your deductible. So the idea is that increasing your monthly spending is meant to assist you in saving money. Ironically, yes, that's the case. Just bear in mind that your insurance payments are designed to safeguard you in the event of accidents. If an accident occurs and you have a low deductible, you'll receive less coverage. However, opting for a higher deductible means you'll have greater coverage. If you believe accidents are unlikely to happen to you, you might be setting yourself up for potential trouble. Compare insurance plans. Perhaps your insurance premiums are already quite high and adding a deductible might make things even more challenging. However, there's a solution to this issue. 
You can compare insurance rates available in your locality and opt for the most competitive option. There's nothing wrong with adjusting your insurance rates to align better with your lifestyle. Ultimately, it's your money and your life, so the choice is yours. Replace your air filters. It's one of the most significant costs for any homeowner is the replacement of their furnace. Regrettably, it's an expense that occasionally must be incurred. However, there's a way to extend the lifespan of your furnace and that's by consistently replacing your air filters, spending just $20 to $50 annually. To potentially prolong your furnace's life by up to 10 years is a sensible trade-off, in my opinion, and also according to Dave Ramsey. Shop at cheaper grocery stores. You're not limited to shopping at just one grocery store. There are likely more grocery stores in your area than you can count on your fingers. But are you choosing the most affordable one? According to a financial survey comparing 13 different grocery stores, there is a clear winner when it comes to affordability, and that winner is Aldi. If you're looking for a combination of low prices and good quality, Aldi is the way to go. Buy generic brands. Have you ever considered purchasing generic or store brand products? You can easily identify them in most grocery stores. For instance, Walmart's store brand is called Great Value. What's interesting is that these unbranded products are manufactured in the same factories as their branded counterparts. This means you're receiving the same quality, but at a lower cost. It seems like an obvious and wise choice for you, especially if you're on a tight budget. Take care of your four walls. What are four walls, you may wonder? Well, you're probably currently inside them as you are watching this video. For short, the four walls are your home. Dave Ramsey points out that you should always prioritize your essential needs first. Once you can cover these basics, you can then address other expenses such as paying off debt. A meal plan? You won't be able to cut your food expenses without a meal plan. As Dave emphasizes, it's essential to have a clear understanding of your food spending and consumption. Without this knowledge, you can't effectively manage your food budget. So having a meal plan is a wise choice for you to keep yourself aligned to your budget based on your income. Sell old stuff. If you have a collection of unused items cluttering your home, you can turn them into money. By doing this, you can declutter your living space, making it feel more open and inviting. Utilizing platforms such as Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace simplifies this process significantly. It's a win-win for you. You freed some space up in your home and you have earned more money without even putting that much effort. Don't buy new clothes. You don't necessarily have to buy brand new clothes. What matters most is their functionality. Dave Ramsey has assisted many people in building wealth on a modest income by emphasizing the practicality of their purchases. Clothes serve their purpose of being worn so they don't have to be brand new or branded to fulfill that need. Absolutely no restaurants. To put it straightforwardly, if you're financially strained and have a limited income, it's not advisable to allocate a substantial portion of your earnings to dining out at restaurants. This spending habit will deplete your funds rapidly, much like how you consume your meals. Besides, cooking at home could help you develop your cooking skills, and you can choose to customize the ingredients based on your preferences and your budget. Get rid of the extras. If you often exceed your budget, do you realize that there are items you truly don't need? If your finances are already stretched thin, then adhere to Dave Ramsey's advice and eliminate anything that isn't essential. Yes, you might have to endure some temporary discomfort, but it will pay off when you can make purchases without a single concern. Plan a staycation. Having a limited income might rule out the possibility of going on a vacation, but it doesn't imply you shouldn't take a break. Here's a valuable insight. Your local area likely has many interesting attractions you may not be aware of. By exploring your surroundings, you can avoid incurring additional expenses associated with travel and save money. Dave Ramsey would never let you off the hook if you make excuses like being invited to a destination wedding just to go on vacation on a tight budget. Broke people should not go to destination weddings. That's my answer. Destination wedding is an excuse for a vacation. It's a wonderful thing for people that have money. But when broke people go to a destination wedding, you know what you call that? More debt. Ask about discounts. So when you have a limited income, discounts become your best friend. It's essential to inquire about discounts, especially when you're unsure. Numerous stores offer competitive prices, 
that might not always be prominently advertised. For instance, if you make a cash payment, the store is more likely to offer you a favorable deal since they don't incur transaction fees. List your income. You should have a better understanding of both you and your partner's income. If you can't provide an exact figure every month, then you lack the level of financial awareness that Dave Ramsey emphasizes. He stresses the importance of maintaining a comprehensive documented budget, which entails having a precise grasp of your income. Therefore, it's crucial to begin meticulously tracking your earnings to facilitate managing a low income more effectively. I used items. Opting for secondhand clothing is a good start, but there are numerous other items you can get on sale. If you've taken the initiative to sell your old belongings, you might discover some fantastic and budget-friendly items to treat yourself with. This approach is the smart choice when your income is limited and you want to treat yourself as a reward for your achievements. Use coupons. Coupons are more accessible than ever thanks to smartphones and apps, making it an excellent way to save money. Dave Ramsey highly endorses this approach, and you might even be praised by him if you begin using these tools today. Do not be ashamed of buying stuff and using coupons for discounts as this will help you save big time. Find cheaper accommodation. Occasionally, traveling for significant reasons is common. It could be for business, for leisure, and even just to visit some family members. If you find yourself in such a situation, prioritize budget-friendly accommodations. Instead of hotels, consider options like Airbnb or VRBLE to save money. There are so many cheap accommodations with a pretty good quality and service. No need to waste too much money just for a place to sleep. Just be patient and wise enough to find a comfortable place to stay at a lower cost. Make fancy coffee at home. Coffee is a staple in most households and you likely consume at least one cup daily. However, if that cup comes from Starbucks or another coffee shop, you're spending a significant amount of unnecessary money. You might want to consider purchasing your favorite brand of coffee, beans, and start brewing your fancy coffee at home. You can even customize your coffee experience by using your ingredients in the comfort of your own home. Use nature for exercise. What do walking, running, and biking all share in common? They are excellent forms of exercise that don't require a monthly expenditure. Dave Ramsey, who could easily afford a pricey gym membership, is a dedicated runner. If you're looking to get fit, begin by utilizing your own body and the resources you already had. There's no need to enroll yourself in the gym and just get tired of it in the long run, then just waste your membership fee. Dye everything. If it's reparable, you should take on the responsibility of fixing it. Many household projects can be handled independently, and if you're up for a challenge, tackle the larger tasks as well. By doing the work yourself, you can reduce expenses by a significant 50% compared to hiring someone else for the job, and you also learn new skills. Eat well, one less. No matter what you estimate your food expenses to be, the reality is often higher. While we all desire good meals, Dave Ramsey advises that you might be underestimating your food spending. However, this doesn't imply you have to eat canned beans daily you can enjoy delicious meals affordably. An excellent source for budget-friendly recipes is BudgetBites.com. Trust that you will eventually thank yourself in the future. Have your home cost zero dollars? It might appear challenging, but it's quite achievable. The most effective method to make your home not only cost you nothing but possibly even generate income is by temporarily renting out your extra rooms or even your unused parking space. Sometimes, taking bold actions can yield significant outcomes and lead to certain sources of income. Find cheap activities. You don't have to splurge $100 in a single evening to have a good time. One of the ways to derive enjoyment is by playing board games with friends and family using the ones you already have. Social interactions are about cherishing other people's company, not about spending money, and this approach makes it simpler to manage a low income. Reduce your energy consumption. We all require energy to sustain ourselves, but you're probably consuming more than necessary. According to Dave Ramsey, if you want to get on top of your bills, you should seek ways to reduce them. And fortunately, cutting down on energy costs is among the simplest. To begin with, consider air drying your clothes outdoors instead of using the dryer and opt for cold water when laundering your clothes. Know your spending. Unnecessary expenditures are the destination for the majority of your funds and without a clear understanding of this, you'll remain trapped in the cycle of living from one paycheck to the next. 
It's crucial to be diligent in this regard. And as Dave Ramsey recommends, the key is to document your expenses. To keep it simple and dependable, jot down your expenses at the end of each day. Lower your transportation costs. Exploring alternative transportation options can make a significant difference for many individuals. For instance, if you aim to reduce your reliance on your car, consider the savings you can achieve by not using gas. If entirely avoiding your car isn't feasible, you can still cut down on expenses by reducing car usage, such as utilizing public transportation or carpooling whenever possible. Stay away from debt. Debt can be financially draining, and when you're living on a low income, tackling it may seem like an intimidating task. This is where Dave's well-known debt snowball method becomes invaluable. It's a simple yet effective strategy that can transform your financial situation. All you have to do is organize your debts in ascending order starting with the smallest one and prioritize paying off that smallest debt as quickly as possible. Here's what Dave Ramsey has to say about the advantages of being debt-free. And we've got piles of data of 30 years and millions and millions of people that have figured out that when you don't have any payments, you have control of your most powerful wealth building tool. You are much more likely and much, it's much easier to build wealth when you stay out of giving everybody else your money. That's right. Start cooking. Steering clear of restaurants also extends to avoiding processed foods when you're at the grocery store. Mastering the art of cooking is an incredibly valuable skill. It not only allows you to save a significant amount of money, but also opens up the opportunity to save cuisines from various corners of the globe without leaving your home. It's quite remarkable how you can embark on a culinary journey worldwide for less than $5. Buy only what you need. Many items fall into the category of unnecessary expenditures, while only a handful are truly essential. When you come to understand your genuine needs and prioritize them, you'll notice a significant increase in the financial freedom that you gained. Keep in mind that essentials are the things required for survival and everything beyond that falls into the realm of desires, which can be curbed with self-discipline. Ultimately, everything hinges on self-discipline. As without it, these tips become useless. It's crucial to consistently prioritize your needs over your wants if you aim to maintain a high quality of life while saving. Although adhering to a savings plan may initially feel restrictive for now, it's an investment in your future well-being that you'll come to appreciate. If you want to learn more about personal finance and generational wealth building strategies, visit our channel and subscribe for more enlightening videos to increase your wealth.